Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit attributes and expressions from the module Aura Components Basic. So here in this challenge, we will be creating an Aura Component by the name Camping List Item. And we are going to use attributes and how we can use those attributes in order to show data in our component. So uh, we will be using Camping Item uh, object and the, these are the fields which we created in the very first unit of this module so we will be using those fields only now moving on let's quickly launch our trailer playground which i've already done here now go to setup and open up your developer console i'm opening up in the new tab itself so i can comfortably switch between the tabs now the component that we have to create will go by the name camping list item so i will copy this and go to file hover over new and so select lightning component name i'm going to paste it over here i'm not selecting any location where i want to make this component visible because we will be using lightning app in order to see this component in action so just click on submit and this will open up the layout now here uh, we have to define one attribute by the name item type will be camping items and required is equal to true. So let's go back and define our attribute over here. Name has to be item type will be, I will copy it from the challenge and this has to be required equal to true. Now let's copy the type, which is camping item. I will copy this and going back to our web console, I will paste this here in the type. Now um, remove any extra spaces. Uh, next thing is we have to, okay. So we can show data on our component by, uh, there are two ways by which we can show. One is fetching dynamically from our database. That is by using Apex. You can call uh, Apex uh, and fetch the data from the server side. The second way is we can hard code the values uh, in our or a component itself and we need not have to call the uh, server or the Apex class again and again. So that is more feasible and in real time you will be requiring that Apex method only. You will have to call again and um, based on the requirement you will definitely have to call Apex. But as far as this challenge is concerned we will be using the static or the hard code value for this challenge. Uh, just take a note in real life, uh, in real life uh, projects, this is not the case. You do not hard code the values and everything. You just dynamically fetch it from the server side. Now moving on, uh, we have to add here default. And here inside add curly brackets. Inside that I'm going to use these attributes over here, which is name price, quantity, and tag. So let's just copy them. And I'll paste this over here. Now here I'm going to uh, one by one give out the values uh, because we are not calling Apex. So this, if I will not assign any default values to these attributes or fields, this is going to display blank values when I will uh, use Lightning application to preview this component. So that is why I am giving uh, some default values over here. So say so name is backpack separated by comma, then price I'm stating it as say 500. Then quantity I'm stating three and packed and stating since this is a, a, a checkbox type of value or field we have to define the value in boolean so i'm giving it as a true so this is how i have declared a default values to this uh, attribute now moving on the next thing we have to do is we have to use a formatted number field to display price attribute uh, price from the attribute item and we have to use formatted number field again for the quantity from the attribute item. So let's go back and uh, how we can use this formatted, what is the syntax for using this formatted number? You have to go to uh, here and here just search for 
or a component reference. Now, if you will notice that there is this very first link, Salesforce Lightning uh, component library, just open this up. And this gives out the component reference both for Lightning Web Components and Aura Components. So as far as this challenge is concerned, we are working on Aura. So I will be referring to this section and not this. If you will copy, uh, so suppose uh, as for our challenge, we want formatted number. So here you will see that this is the Lightning Web Component section and here this there is this formatted number. So if I'll use this, uh, this uh, example or this uh, syntax in my aura component, this is going to give me an error that this is not recognized in aura. So make sure you move to aura section only and here you select formatted number. So this is the formatted number syntax that we will be using. So for our uh, field, which we want to display is price and style, we have to keep it currency. So if you'll go over here, this is right now in decimal formatting. Uh, so you will see that decimal formatting data is coming up over here using these uh, syntax or the lightning formatted number. Now there is this currency formatting as well and percentage formatting. For our case, we require currency formatting. So I will select this one. Now here I have uh, this very basic one which have value, style and currency code. So this is the very the first one we are going to use. And uh, this the example of this uh, currency formatting is shown over here. So th this is going to display my data in this manner. If you want to display that this currency should come up in this uh, uh, USD, then you can use the second one and so on and so forth. So right now I'm going to use the very first one. So I will just copy this. And going back to develop console, I will write price and paste this over here. Remove the paragraph tags and in the value, so this is right now hard coded or the static value given over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this item attribute and inside that item attribute, we are going to fetch price field over here. So what we have to do is we have to again add curly brackets exclamatory mark v dot item dot and here I'm going to just copy this field price and paste this over here. So it is going to take up this price value 500 and will display it on the uh, preview uh, page. Now moving on before price I would also like uh, since this is not mentioned in the challenge but in order to have a nice view of our component i'm also going to put a name over here that what is the uh, what's the um, packing uh, campaigning item camping item we are taking up so for name i'm going to use uh, this uh, formatted rich text one so i will just select this and under aura section and there is the simple one so i will just copy this Going back to the web console, I will paste this over here. And inside the value, I'm again going to use item. So v dot item attribute and inside that name is the field. So that's all uh, we have to do for our name. Now next is I want to display quantity. For quantity, we have to uh, again use formatted number field to display quantity from attribute item. So what I'll do is I will just copy this one price again. Just copy it and paste this over here. Now, instead of price, it has to be quantity. So I will copy this and paste this over here. We do not want a style uh attribute over here as well as currency code so i will remove this from this uh, lightning formatted for quantity now just align this 
Next up, the last uh, field that we have to display is uh, the toggle input in order to display the packed status from the attribute item. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go to this component reference again. And here in the quick find, I will just search for input. Now, this is the Lightning Web Component section. And under the Aura section, you will find that there is this input coming up, input component. Just select this. And if you will notice that right now, this is showing examples of date input. So if you notice that there are all the date inputs coming up on the right hand side example section and the uh, components that is being used over here are of type date. But in our case, we want a toggle. So what I'll do is I'll scroll a little bit inside this example option a list and there is this a toggle option coming up. Now, this is the way, uh, these are the th three ways by which we can display our toggle. So the first one is the basic one where we are just displaying one toggle. The second one is basic plus there is this uh, uh, attribute required added to it, which makes this uh, toggle uh, a required option, required field. Now, the third one is disabled option for that. They are just using this disabled equal to true attribute, which make this uh, ineditable for the user. So right now I will be using the basic one. So I will just copy this from here. You can also uh, explore this component reference uh, website yourself as well. So there is this document as well for each component and you can just go through if you have any doubt. For specification as well, there is uh, this sheet where it displays or explain every attribute that uh, how it works. So uh, suppose uh, the checked one, which we just saw in our example, it displays that uh, this uh, what it does and what values it can contain and, the, and that's how all the, uh, so there's this disabled as well, it, what it does and how we can use this in our uh, components. So that's how you can just explore this. It's a very good site uh, in order to build components. So I will just copy this. And going back to our developer console, I will just enter this over here and just paste this. Now the type is toggle. This is fine. Label has to be changed to tagged with a question mark. So I will copy this and paste this over here in the label attribute. Input has to be labeled uh, tagged without question mark. And the value has to be stored under the che uh, checked attribute. So let's add one more attribute over here, which is checked is equal to Inside this, I'm going to use the item attribute. So v dot item dot packed. Just paste this over here in the checked attribute. Now, uh, I'll just make this code a little bit neat so it does not uh, look messy. Yeah. Now, uh, so. If I just save this now and go to my application, uh, which we created in previous unit. So I'll just open up uh, the application, which was my component app. So this is the application that I had created. So we will be calling this uh, component camping list item from my application and we will preview it. So here, C colon, the name of the application, uh, this uh, component, I will copy it from here and paste this in the application. This end this and click on save now previewing this this will display all the attributes in one line all the data in one or two line so you can see that this is not coming up uh, correctly um, the price is coming up in the same line as that of name and quantity so we want every attribute to be displayed in uh, every line so let's go back here and add dr tag after every attribute that we are displaying. And one more thing I would like to mention. So first of all, I'll just remove this and this will show you what's the usage of this uh, extends attribute over here. So let's just preview this again. 
and you will notice that the layout uh, so every attribute is coming now in the next line because we have used break line attribute now if you'll notice that this is uh, not not coming in a very interactive or attractive uh, layout uh, user interface if you see over here that this is coming as checkbox and it is looking very uh, not so good uh, user interface so basically this was coming up because of this uh, extension that we had used over here, which extends force.slds library or module in order to make this a little bit more interactive and attractive for the end users. So as you can see now, this looks very much uh, better and more user friendly. So here, this is the toggle button. That's all we had to do for this uh, units challenge. And if one more thing I would like to show you that these are the values which we gave by default. So backpack $500, quantities three. And if you'll notice the packed is also coming as by default true. So we had set this packed value true over here. Moving on, let's quickly go back to our challenge and click on check challenge to on 500 points. Hopefully we should be able to pass this uh, challenge. Let's just wait. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.